In just hours, nearly 900,000 more Missourians will be eligible for a COVID vaccine. Thank you for joining us tonight. Just a few minutes late, I'm Lauren Traeger. Those eligible include new groups of workers and people disproportionately impacted by the virus. News Force Emma Hoag reports on the ongoing race to schedule a spot in line and one organization's efforts to find vaccines for those who can't. I, I'm just, I'm relieved. I'm looking to this summer as being able to function somewhat normally. After waiting over a year, Kate Keeper is counting down the hours until she can get the vaccine. Keeper works in the commercial facility sector and sells custom drapery and embroidery and qualifies for phase two. So does her husband who works in financial services. It's really exciting to know that I can get it and start my immunity. Those working in casinos, hotels, amusement parks, retail and real estate also qualify under the commercial facility sector. Other categories include government employees, people working in higher education and the homeless. I did practice runs before I was even eligible, just going in, pretending I was eligible, getting all the way to the point where it says book the appointment and then backing out because I wasn't eligible, so I kind of knew what I was doing. Keeper's efforts paid off. She made an appointment ahead of time for this Wednesday at Walmart in Columbia, about an hour and a half from her St. Charles home. Other openings closer to St. Louis were taken in minutes. I stayed up till midnight when a lot of the openings become available, and I was really amazed at it, how fast the St. Louis ones were gone. Were, they were gone. They were gone before I ever got my computer settled. One of the most important uh, segments of that next tier is the unhoused. The St. Louis Urban League and the National Guard are working with four area shelters to vaccinate the homeless. I'm told they'll be bringing those vaccinations to them and also providing transportation to bring some of those individuals to other vaccination sites. That population is extremely transit, so they could so they move throughout the community and uh, we have got to be able to get them vaccinated so we can slow the spread amongst that population. James Clark with the St. Louis Urban League hopes to start vaccinating the homeless by midweek. Tonight, others scrambling to make appointments hope supply ramps up even more in the next few days. It's been like just painful waiting. In St. Louis, Emma Hogue, News 4. And we expect to learn details about the Urban League and National Guard's plan to vaccinate the homeless in the coming days. If you'd like to see who qualifies for phase two, we have a comprehensive list posted right now on the KMOV News app.